work for me. And we would go to the home, do care with them there. Um, a lot of like hospice therapy, um, just kind of getting them prepared. Yeah, it was pretty sad. Yeah, very, very sad back then because they didn't have the medications that they have. Um, came here and worked for a group home with children who were severely, severely um, abused. And we took students from all over the Southeast because our students, children from six to 12, all over the Southeast, um, who were not a fit for any other group homes. Uh, we were a very high management group home and I was the lead uh, child therapist there. Uh, worked there till we closed and then started with the school district and part time worked as the primary child, well, it's the only child therapist at the domestic violence shelter. So um, I've had the opportunity to do a lot of different things um, in, in the years that I've been doing this. Awesome. Um, what led you to the field that you're working in? I actually started out um, wanting to do hair of all things and um, decided, you know what, I'm going to go try school and thought about being a teacher. Um, and then I took a sociology class and just fell in love with it. And I was like, no, this is what I want to do. And then I took a, a class in psychology and I'm like, no, this is, this is it. This is where I want to go. And so I was just so fortunate to have amazing professors um, that were like, Linda, this is, this is you, this is your niche. This is, this is what you need to do. And I never looked back or never wished I wish I had done this or I wish I had done that. Um, I absolutely love what I do. I wouldn't change it for anything. And you kind of know when you take those classes in, in college or even high school, there's just something that grabs you um, that just says, this is, this is where I want to be. And I've always loved working with people. I've always loved children. Um, and I've always been that person that has never bullied and stood up for people that were kind of the underdogs and so I think that kind of led me into working with people that some people um, label you know addiction is a, is a huge one for example or mental illness and I'm like no there's people here I, you know look at who they are not what they're like diagnosis awesome um, what are some rewards and then we can go on to what are challenges after or whichever way you want to do it. The rewards are little things that you do that you don't even know about until years later. Um, it's, you go in always thinking, you know, I'm going to save the world and this is going to happen. And when I do this and this person's going to get better and we'll talk about that. We'll talk about challenges. But the rewards kind of come from in, within yourself um, and just loving what you do and knowing you did your best with that person and you gave them, gave them your all. Um, the best rewards are coming and having someone 10 years later come up to you and say, you know what, Miss Allen, Miss Allen, <laughs> um, you know what, Miss Allen, you really did make a difference in my life and had it not been for you and things like that, it's awesome to feel. And I still have students um, that come up to me from years ago and remember things that I didn't even realize I was doing. Um, for example, my phone ringing in my office at a school and they're like, you can get that. And I'm like, no, my, my focus is on you right now. You know, they, they can wait. All I'm about is you. And she still remembers that. And that was like 10 years ago. And sometimes I get little things on Facebook from uh, previous students or um, just seeing someone that was in your care do well. That's the best reward ever. Is that that you know you, you did make a difference. Mm -hmm. And then the challenges. Challenges. <laughs> there there could be many challenges. Um, the first one I think was just delusions of grandeur, thinking that you know I was going to be the best child therapist in the world, and I was going to save these children from poverty and abuse and all these things. Um, and it's very challenging to know that you got them during a specific time, but then they go back, especially with the children and adolescents, they're going back.